Wow, it is cold on the bus today. If you watched the end of last week's video, you'll remember I said that this week was gonna be a week about finances and money. Oh my goodness. Man. So I'm writing and recording this album in six months and currently my bank account says this. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> but I haven't actually accepted uh, much official work where I've been invoicing and charging set fees for jobs since um, probably like September last year. So September last year, I took the leap of faith, stopped all the work I was currently doing, which was function band stuff, playing weddings, and all the kind of commercial music stuff that you can do. It wasn't feeding my soul. I was really, really bored of it. At this stage, I'd been living on this bus for a few months, but I, you know, I wasn't leaping into the proper world of bus life and sort of living and being a creative on the road. So to detach myself from quite literally everything, I stopped what was giving me a regular income and instead went for work that was a bit more like one-off stuff and, and kind of big projects. Those of you that have been following this channel for a while will remember the Swell Tour in November. Now with that, I was directing a film and I was doing the music for the project. I jumped into this project full knowing that it might never pay out but I knew I really wanted to do it and I was excited and I had a bit of money in the bank at the time that allowed me to do this project. So I did that and since then it's kind of been focusing on this project. Now as you can see my funds are, are like run dry. However I am committing so much so to the project that I am selling my car. Oh! my beloved car i can't believe i'm selling it so what i'm hoping that selling the car is going to do is put a certain amount of money in the pot that means we can get the project started i guess this is me like fronting the start of the trip i'm hoping two and a half grand into the pot now i think that will get me about a third of the way into the trip but it certainly won't get me home this is currently my commitment just to um just to to the project to show you guys I'm serious about it. I mean, I really don't want to sell my car. It's useful to have a car. You can't just pull up to Sainsbury's in this. <laughs> well, actually you can. Right now in this world, when I don't have much money and I want to be feeding and fueling the creativity, car needs to go. What I'm also hoping it means is that when we're on the road, I'm kind of hoping that at the end of it all, when we start selling CDs and vinyls and t-shirts and all the various things that will go around the album, it means that there'll be more money in the pot to give back to these communities. I don't want it to just be paying off the project, otherwise we end up at zero and then it's just been fun for me. And the whole reason I'm doing this tour is because I want to work with communities, choirs, musicians, young, old, middle-aged and everyone to benefit but everyone to get something kind of back and that doesn't just mean financially but it means that if I can afford to put some money into a music department of a school I want to be doing that that's that's why this project was started and if I'm serious about doing that then I need to make big commitments to make sure that we try and like level off so that we actually have profit to give back if anybody wants to buy an Audi So this week, to add insult to injury, I got my heater fixed, but realized I have a leak somewhere in the front, somewhere up here in the roof. And what's happening is as I'm driving, it's running down this light and then dripping onto my head. So I've tried patching it up like twice. Remember when I was on the roof? I don't know if I've shown you on top of my bus before. I think I have leaks in the back here and it's still dripping. I cannot find the leak. So uh, I called up an old friend of mine, Chris, who's brought a smoke machine over because I had this mad idea. If we fill it with smoke, then when I get up on the roof, hopefully I'll be able to see where the leak is. So have you had a request for anything like this before, Chris? I have to say no. Oh my days, right. Oh my goodness me. Wow. <laughs> Bye, Chris. Really annoyingly, it didn't work. I was so convinced, but it's worth a go. I put a post out on Instagram. If I was to sell something, what would you be interested in? And I was kind of expecting to people like, don't do t-shirts, it's been done before and all this kind of thing. But a lot of you came back saying, make some t-shirts, I'll buy one. What I realized from this was that I should do t-shirts. <laughs> So I'm gonna do a limited run of like 40 of these, but I wanna take a load on the road as well because I think in the moment, on the road, when we're excited, when we're recording, I think that's gonna be the best and most excitable time. Now the next, the next design I am 
super excited about. One idea we were talking about was like a goodie bag. And I take them all around Europe across the whole of the tour for the six months. And any musicians that come on board can bring a batch of CDs. There might even be like small souvenir things I can buy. I don't know, like anything. Collect all these things and basically create like a tour goodie bag of stuff let on the road. Like I say, people's music, people's merchandise, anything that anybody's willing to put in to the project. So please do let me know your thoughts on, on those two products. Let me know. I also found this rucksack. So my big question to you guys is, do I do a small order of these bags as well? Let me know which ones you like and which ones you might want to buy because there's no point ordering them if it's gonna be a loss. But if you guys really like these, which I hope you do because I think they look sick. If you'd like one, let me know. And then I know to put an order in. Okay, there's been a really quick, um, these trousers are really itchy. There's been a small modification to the route. Those of you that have seen the tour schedule video can see that when I finish in Brighton, I go over to the Euro Tunnel, get the Euro Tunnel to Calais, and then drive down through France to Spain. I've done this drive and it's pretty boring. <laughs> and the other day I was just on Instagram and I found this place it's called Mont Saint Michel. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And it's basically Hogwarts. And what I'm now looking to do is get a ferry from Portsmouth, get the ferry down to Saint Marlo, and then it's literally like less than an hour drive to Mont Saint Michel. I want to offer the four seats that are on this, no three seats because there's me, on this bus to, to go on that trip. So if you're interested, just let me know. Just email me at teamatmadeontheroad.co.uk or just message me on Instagram or tweet me at igeorgeholiday. Anything you want to do, let me know you're interested and we can talk it out. Alrighty, the final thing, my favorite time of the show. Guess what time it is? It's Instagram jam time. Need to make that into a theme song. Okay, we've used up quite a lot of the vlog on um, everything else. Oh, I know who it's going to be. This guy has committed so much to Made on the Road, to the Swirl Tour, to me as both a musician and a friend. And he will forever have a very big part in my heart. Guys, I really want to introduce you to Isaac Tyler. Oh, darling, my heart's on fire. Oh, darling, my heart's on fire for you. Oh, great memories filming that. So Isaac is my writing buddy and he is going to be on the tour um, a fair amount. Sorry, this describes our friendship quite well. <laughs> We're nearly two weeks till liftoff. Mad. When I planned this eight weeks, I didn't think it would go this quickly. Um, I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of each other and remember, never stop creating. <laughs>